I patiently await the downfall of YouTube. YouTube went to absolute shit the moment they were bought by Google. What used to be a fun, expressive social media outlet for the common person that was unheard of at the time is now one large corporate media outlet. Google got greedy and let in the same giant media companies to dominate and ruin the site that they once were against. These same megacore that failed to stay afloat in the cable industry are now attempting to use the same failed business model online. YouTube is yet another cash is king winner takes all platform and it has spawned a wave of passionless YouTubers who are just trying to scam you out of a quick buck with nonsensical content. But that is not even close to my main gripe with this website. No, I take the most issue with their fucking infrastructure and administration. They, being a Google subsidiary, feel the need to add countless features and redesigns nobody asked for. Why oh why are you showing me my subscriptions uploads day by day? I am subscribed to 40 plus YouTubers, I have no desire to go meticulously watch half a day's worth of content day by day. Why did they take out all the color? It looks like if an airport was a website. Why can't I customize my channel page anymore? But worst is their algorithm. Oh my god their algorithm. Whoever wrote that shit should be chemically castrated. So many problems with it, and yet they refuse to improve it or dump it entirely because they don't give a shit. The few times they've addressed it they have basically said I don't know, the algorithm just does things sometimes. We don't know why. There is evidence to suggest that they have doctored it to favor the big moneyed interests on the site and channels with a certain political leaning, but if you want to learn more about that you can research more about that yourself. I am not one for political arguments on here lol. And their goddamn advertising bullshit, come the fuck on. You have a whole ass list of words that if you say or show you will get demonetized, but of course CNN, Fox and NBC can say what they want, it's made to purposefully screw over small YouTubers. Their argument is that they want to only endorse content that is advertiser friendly. You what m8? Every single fringe disgusting corner of the internet has ads. There are ads on sites like Live Leak and Brutal Incest Porn websites, I'm sure they can live with a small-scale YouTuber saying the word pedo when discussing Onision's behavior and allegations. The 10-minute rule is god-awful for content as well. Have you ever watched a YT live stream and donated money via Super Chat? Yeah, YouTube takes a 40% cut of all of that. That is abominable. Not even the money-grubbing vulture producers I deal with at work take anywhere near that large of a cut. Incredible. So yeah, fuck YouTube. A viable alternative will take over soon, it just needs to find a niche. I am disappointed that a bastardized version of this site was created at my alma mater and actually three doors down from my dorm room freshman year at a school known for their technological inventions. YouTube can suck it. You must not remember when YouTube went down worldwide for a few hours in the fall of 2018, the world lost their fucking minds. I agree with the majority of what you're saying but YouTube isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Except all the YouTube alternatives so far have been garbage, there is no reason to believe that it is gonna change anytime soon. Up 50 years later, https colon slash slash img flip com slash i slash 3 vh 4 pj actual unpopular opinion i like the subscription tab i follow a ton of youtubers some i want to watch every video some i'll watch the videos that seem interesting and others i only subscribed because i used to like them but don't want to remove myself from them yet every few days i click my subscriptions and see what content is new watch what i want to and then click off i know what my favorite youtubers have uploaded and what I'm not interested in from them. I patiently await the downfall of Reddit. Their political partisanship in the way they enforce content standards is well beyond egregious. Racist hate subs like FWR are allowed to exist while meme subs are banned by the dozen. Power mods are allowed to go around harassing people and then get them banned when they respond. I disagree. Every alternative to YouTube so far has been utter shit. The interface may seem boring but compared to 2006 it's just so much more sleek, 
Some content creators are passionless and just out to make a living but there are still hundreds of not thousands of brilliant channels out there as long as you look, although I agree the algorithm is utter bullshit. I've been making YouTube videos since 2016, and while I have seen it go to shit, I've also seen YouTube try to make an improvement. They fixed the demonetization system, made YouTube Rewind 2019 an actual rewind, and improved the uploading system. While yes, COPPA is a problem, people shouldn't blame YouTube for it. The FTC is responsible for COPPA, and YouTube was forced into it. I'm right there with you, man. I don't mind advertising for the most part. Everybody's got to make their buck. But they're abusive about it. Being deliberately obnoxious with it's just to sell you premium. And you're 100% with the algorithm. Why is it recommending 5 year old videos I watched last month but nothing new from a channel I binged the other day? They're also very abusive towards content creators. I've seen Matt Pat, Phil DeFranco, and Huang go meta and talk about how shitey YouTube's practices are. I just wish in those rants they would recommend another video site we could all get behind. I'm gleefully waiting for its death as well. Dude, Google bought YouTube in fucking 2006. What are you even talking about? Don't hold your breath. It's gonna be a while. I used to make YouTube videos but ever since this coppa bullcrap I've given up. YouTube has just become like you said, a soulless corporation that doesn't give a single care about their creators, the people that got YouTube to where it's at now. It's sad and it deserves to die so a better, more liberating platform can take its place. Also the hot button. That is just pure shit. It's just TV channels. Not any actual YouTubers who get millions of view, oh no. It's fucking some late night host with a boomer tumor humor. As far as social media is concerned YouTube is by far the most useful. Need to know how to change out your headlights in your 2005 Acura RSX? YouTube a video to help you. Need help re-roofing a house, building a fence, baking a chicken, ECT. 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 YouTube has the answers for all questions. I still somewhat like YouTube. But it's nothing like what it used to be. I miss old YouTube like it was 10 plus years ago. Unpopular opinion, YouTubers turning into businesses is what ruined YouTube. Most of the ones I watch don't act like they have any reason to be there besides making money. It was much better when it was hard to get monetized and people did it because it was their hobby not because it was their job. I patiently await all the YouTube winners to create their own platform. Everyone complains about the algorithm because they aren't the one getting views but everything's awesome when they are. All you have to do is check out the trending tab to realize how much bias YouTube has towards mega corporations. Yes, because that one movie trailer that has 500k views in the last 24 hours is definitely one of the most trending videos on YouTube. And holy shit, the clickbait. It's super fucking cringy. The golden years of YouTube were 2008 to 2013. You know basically no one knew what YouTube was until it was bought by Google. I completely agree with this, still worth upvoting cause it might be unpopular. Not sure. Anyway the 40% cut thing, Twitch takes like 50% on all subs and I'm pretty sure they take a decent chunk out of straight donos too. Twitch is no better with finding any way imaginable to take your money, but all things considered YouTube is an absolute dumpster fire. Google bought YouTube in 2006, basically the beginning. I don't think it was around long enough to claim it started going downhill when Google bought it. I do think it really started going downhill around 2011. Bo Burnham was right. What pisses me off is clicking not interested doesn't even fucking work. I will go through my recommendations and click not interested on a handful of videos. When I refresh later in the day. Boom. The same exact video, s, from the same exact creators. Fucking inexcusable. For a long time I assumed I was remembering incorrectly but not anymore. Doesn't help that their recommendations are horrible. I don't know about design, creators, etc. But their algorithm is inexcusably terrible. 
that's enough for me to want a replacement. So I'm on YT since 2011, something unbelievable at that time cause I was 7 lol. I've seen it all. One channel controversy, the Google and controversy, the new, ATM, comment section controversy, the ad revenue thing, the shitty 2016, or was it 2017, rewind, deleting annotations, the 2018 rewind, the 2019 rewind, and the COPPA controversy. I sound like a boomer or a mill Nile or I don't know, accidental r slash gatekeeping, I hope not, but RLYYT was a lot better back then, I guess. I don't know if my nostalgia is warped because I used to watch old tutorials from like 2009 lol.